Welcome to Yoga and Yodels. Do you know when my children were very little, our most fun day of the winter in Wisconsin was always beach day. So what we did in beach day was I turned the thermostat way up high so that for just an hour or two, so that it was nice and warm and my children could put their swimsuits on. And then I would take the dinette furniture out of the dining area in the kitchen and I'd put down a lot of beach towels and I'd put the wading pool down and I would take soup pots full of warm bath water and put it in the wading pool and the children would pretend that they were at the beach even though it was 30 degrees below zero and February in Wisconsin. So this whole month we're going to pretend to be at the beach. We're going to have beach books and beach songs and we'll take a little break for Valentine's week, but it'll be so much fun. Have you ever noticed that uh, seashells, if you listen to a big seashell, you can hear the ocean? I can hear it. Do you know if you don't have a big seashell at home, that you can sometimes hear the ocean if you cup your hand or if your grown up cups a hand around your ear gently. Our song today is Seashell, Seashell. And it's a very easy song and includes some flannel board and some ocean animals. So let's see if we can sing this together. There's only a few words, so I think you'll catch on really fast. I'm going to listen. Seashell, seashell, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean. Sing about the sea. I'm going to listen and see what the oh, what the seashell says. Oh, it's talking to me. In my ocean there are whales. Okay. I got a whale to put on our flannel board. Oh my goodness, it's a big whale, isn't it? Do you think maybe there's some other ocean animals that are in that my seashell will tell me about? Let's sing it again. Seashell, seashell, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. I think it's singing to me. In my ocean, there are sharks. That's what it said. Let me see if I've got a flannel board piece for a shark. I do! <laughs> Should we see if there's another animal that the shell will tell me about? Let me listen really closely. I think it's starting to sing. Seashell, seashell, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. Oh, let's see what other animal it might sing about. Oh, it's singing. In my ocean there are squid. Do you think that maybe... I do have a flannel board piece for a squid. It looks pretty happy, doesn't it? <laughs> Should we see if there's one more ocean animal that's in that the seashell will sing to me about? One more. Guys, I hear it. Seashell, seashell, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. I hear it singing. In my ocean there are jellyfish. Jellyfish are my favorite. Oh my goodness, here's a happy little jellyfish. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed singing that with me today. Our book today is Here Comes Ocean, and it's written by Meg Fleming and illustrated by Paula Zakima.
Let's see who published it. Beach Lane Books. New York, London, Toronto, Sydney, New Delhi. Thank you, Beach Lane Books. You're going to have to help me with this book because there's a repeated phrase. That means there's some words that come up on almost every page. And when we come to them, I hope that you say the words with me and I'll help you. Sun Beach, Rise Beach, Pale in Hand, Found a Dollar in the Sand. There's a sand dollar. Cool those toes. What next? Who knows? Here are the words, guys. Here comes ocean! Exclamation point. Will you say that with me? Here comes ocean. Okay. Soft beach, warm beach, dig a seat. Something's nibbling on my feet. Hide those toes. What next? Who knows? Here it comes, guys. Here comes ocean. Salt beach, breeze beach. Look, a track. Piper's chasing the water back. These are sandpiper birds. Low beach, tide beach, treasure store. Ropey lassos line the shore. What do you think those lassos are? They're like seaweed, right? That you can play with when they're left at the shore. Loud beach, crash beach, prickly walk, sea star clinging to a rock. Our phrase is on this page. Plant those toes. What next? Who knows? Here comes ocean. Did you say it nice and loud? This is a tide pool. And once when we were at a beach when Sarah was a little girl, she and Sam played in the tide pool whenever they had a chance. And that's what made her interested in becoming a marine biologist. Oh, beach, no beach, better run. Giant wave in three, two, one. Move those toes. What next? Oh, no. Do you see how the crab has some seaweed? Oh, it's a little different this time, guys. It's too much ocean. Now, over the ocean wave was so strong. Slow beach, down beach, sky grows pale. Stained glass sailor's purple trail. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Dry those toes. What next? Who knows? Here comes ocean. And they all lived happily ever after the end. What a great book. Thank you for helping me read that. Our yoga flow today is an ocean animal's yoga flow, which would be tons of fun. So let's take some nice deep breaths to start out our flow. And what we'll be doing is I'm going to be showing the ocean animal fuzzed out in the background and a child doing the pose next to me. I know it looks like I'm going to do it on a flannel board, but that's just going to be the background. So, because maybe we'll have some snow, how about if we make some snow angels while we breathe? So, let's inhale and bring our arms way up high. And exhale. Bring our arms down, just like we're laying in the snow and we're making a snow angel. Let's do a couple more of those. What should our first, first ocean animal be? How about if we stand up and we pretend to be a penguin? So the more you pretend to be the ocean animal, the more fun you'll have during this flow. So how do you think a penguin would stand? This is our mountain pose. 
and we're going to stand tall with our legs about hip distance apart and our arms are going to come out to our sides and you're going to pretend to be a penguin about to hop into the ocean. And breathe. What if you did hop into the ocean? I bet you've seen Happy Feet once or twice, <laughs> the movie. So our next ocean animal is a swordfish, and that's for extended mountain pose. So we're going to stand tall like we're a penguin in mountain pose, and then we're going to inhale and look up and raise our arms straight up to the sky. Do you think you can bring your hands together because that's going to make the swordfish a sword? I have my hands together like this. And I'm going to swim through cold ocean water. You can pretend to be a fish, a swordfish, and breathe. Exhale your arms down. And from mountain pose, you're going to be bending your upper body. We're going to be a jellyfish. And you know jellyfish things. They don't have any bones at all. We're going to be doing standing forward bend and we're going to be relaxing, bending our upper body, keeping a straight spine though, and reaching for our toes. That is absolutely fine if you can't reach your toes, but after you take a few deep breaths, I'll bet that you can get a little bit closer to your toes than you could at the beginning. You're going to pretend that your arms are the tentacles of the jellyfish as you reach toward your toes in our jellyfish pose. Now, when you think about jellyfish, do you ever think about octopus? So we're going to sit on our bum and do an octopus pose that is a seated forward bend. So you're sitting on your bum, your legs are straight out in front of you, and you're going to Bend your torso forward while you keep your spine straight. And you're going to be pretending to be an octopus that's jetting away from danger. And those legs of the octopus, they can be just like the tentacles of a jellyfish, reaching toward your toes if, as you're in seated forward bend. Next, we're going to be a clam. And sometimes we call that cobbler's pose. So you can sit on your bum with a tall spine and this time bend your legs and put the soles of the bottoms of your feet together and slowly bring your knees up and down like the shell of a clam opening and closing. And you can see in the picture over here, this is a very stretchy, relaxing pose, the clam pose. And you can do it with your breath. So that would mean inhale your legs together and exhale, relax your knees apart. And you can do that a few more times. This next sea animal is my daughter's favorite. She is a scientist who studies the coral and this is flower pose or coral pose and you're sitting on your bum with a tall spine and you lift your bent legs and balance on your sitting bones and you weave your arms under your legs with your palms facing up. You can pretend to be a colorful coral There's an ocean animal we haven't talked about, and that is all of the colorful fish that are in the ocean. Just so many fish. And that we're going to call locust pose or fish pose. We're going to roll over onto our tummies and with your arms straight down alongside your body, your forehead on the ground. On an inhale, your head, your chest, and your legs off the ground. 
and you want to keep your, your spot, your neck nice and neutral. So that means it's in line with your backbone. You're going to open your shoulders and look forward just a few inches off the front of your mat. You're going to pretend to be a fish swimming with its school of fish. This is a good strengthening pose for your back muscles. Our next sea animal is the sea cucumber. That's a very interesting sea animal. And that is like Sphinx pose. So you are on your tummy still and your legs are straight behind you. And you're going to place your elbows on the ground just in front of your, your shoulders with your far, forearms parallel and your palms flat. And when you inhale, lift your chest up and look forward and squeeze your shoulders to feel a baby back bend. And you're going to pretend to be a sea cucumber crawling along the sea floor. Can you crawl a few inches forward while you're doing sea cucumber, sphinx pose, or backward just an inch or two? That's your challenge. Our next pose is child's pose, but sea urchin is what we're going to call it today. Sea urchins are such interesting sea animals. You'll be sitting on your heels and you'll slowly bring your forehead toward the mat. You'll be resting your arms alongside your body and your hips are down toward your heels. You're making kind of a shape like a sea urch urchin you're pretending to be a spiny sea urchin in child's pose. And our final ocean animal is the manatee. So you're going to pretend to be a manatee that's munching kelp. And all you need to do from child's pose is Bring your arms out in front of you. Instead of having your arms at your side for a sea urchin, bring your arms out in front of you. Your palms are flat on the mat and you take a few deep breaths. And that's how we'll end our yoga flow today. Thank you for doing that with me. Let's finish up our time today with Aloha Oi. It's a story time goodbye song. And I hope that while you sing, you hop up and hula with me for Beach Month. the catalog and then you can try playing the ukulele or you grow up. Anyway, thank you for coming to Yoga and Yoga Yodels and we'll see you soon. <laughs>